John? Hey, John. Hey, you. Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing amazingly as always. Today we'll be talking about the importance of remembering names and what to say when you don't know what to say. Sometimes remembering names can be hard. We've all been there, especially in those situations that happen suddenly. John? Oh, hey, John! Hey, you! Anyways, I just wanted to let you know what a great presentation you did the other day. Oh my god, I can't remember her name. She's being so sweet and friendly. How could I have forgotten? What's her name? I got it. You're being too kind. Thank you very much. But listen, I really have to go. Uh, just put your number and we'll catch up some other time. Okay? There you go. Alright, thanks. I'll catch you later, right? Alright, see ya. Take care. Remembering names is something that some of us might take with little importance, but isn't it nice when someone fairly needs to remember your name? When using someone's name, it shows you see the person as an individual. Not only that, when remembering someone's name, it shows your interest and respect for that person. In business, knowing someone's name can make a difference in how they feel about you and your brand. Continuing a conversation that you're completely unfamiliar with can sometimes be as apprehensive as remembering a name. Hey, did you know that the Ivy League schools had a total of 281,060 applicants for the year 2021? I did, but can you believe that less than 10% of these league applicants got the admissions offer? I know, can you believe it? It must be a really great achievement getting into a uh, league school. What do you think? Well, um... I just got fourth in the championship league, so it must have been too hard. Sometimes you end up saying just about anything because you want to feel included. But don't be afraid to say, oh no, because you might end up learning something new if you fight your anxiety. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more. That's all for now. Potatoes out!